Hey, how's it going? It's Rocky. Today we're gonna make one of my favorite meals. I did grow up in Hawaii, so this is pretty common, which is a ahi poke. And the version I'm making today is a spicy ahi poke. And I'm gonna go through some of the ingredients that we have today. We have uh, ahi tuna here. I'm no longer in Hawaii, but thanks to my friends at HH Fresh Fish Company uh, in Santa Cruz, California, was able to get one of this fresh ahi flown in from Hawaii at the farmer's market. And then I have some masago. And since we're making spicy ahi, we need some of the sriracha, some soy sauce, so kikkuman or aloha soy sauce. And then we have sesame oil and some mayonnaise. So you can use best foods or the preferred brand is Kewpie. And also some, some green onions. So. Right now I'm just gonna prepare about two of these green onions and we're just gonna cut that, uh, thinly cut it. So this will be something you know we add on top. Uh, it's definitely not a requirement, but it's great for the colors that you'll have on the poke itself. So the green onions, we'll just put that here. So right now we're gonna first start with the sauce. And what we're starting with is the sesame oil. So we need about one teaspoon of the sesame oil. Then next, we need about two teaspoons of the soy sauce. Again, you don't have to be accurate with this because once you're done, you can always adjust the flavor. And then the sriracha, actually not a fan of spicy things, but with this, I can handle it. Um, you need about four teaspoons of it, but I'm just gonna do three for now. And then at the final taste, I can adjust accordingly if I want it spicier or not. So that's the sauces there. And next is the mayonnaise. You need about a quarter cup of it. And again, um, doesn't it, it's not like baking where you have to be perfect on exactly what the portions are. Um, you can definitely adjust as you see fit uh, in the end there. And then next is the masago. Uh, this one, I've always added it generously because I do like masago. So I'll just put about half worth of what's in here. The next, we're just going to mix the sauce together. And this is what we'll use when we mix it with the ahi. So that's the color that I'm more familiar with. Uh, this is, again, very common when you go to Hawaii. A lot of the stores cook. Uh, prepare and sell these and it's just poke by itself it's not like what you'll see in the US mainland where everything is mixed together so now we're gonna prepare the ahi so we're gonna prepare this in cubes into bite size this one uh, it's pretty generous fairly thick there so I think what I'll do first is cut it in half before we cut it into cubes so when cutting fish, you always go in just one direction. Quite important to do that. But maybe so when you're preparing it for sashimi or whatnot. Again, I'm, I'm no professional. This is just me basically preparing and enjoying what I like at home. So. Alright, so that's with amateur way of cutting fish. And again, cubes. Get that ready there. And bite size is good. I'm gonna go along this one. Again, they don't need to be perfect. And I have about a pound worth 
of ahi here. You may make as much as you want. So if you have two pounds, then just do two x of the sauces that we had prepared previously to this. If you, got, if you guys got any tips on how to cut a fish better than this, let me know. Send me a link. Send me a video. It's definitely something that I don't do too often. All right. So now our fish is prepared. And we're just going to add all of this fish into our sauce here. And now we'll mix it all up. I am quite excited to eat all of this. Next, we'll do a bit of our garnish on top. And there you go. Now it's time to enjoy our spicy ahi poke. And quite excited to eat this. Again, this is, you know, took less than 10 minutes to prepare and Hopefully you enjoy it. All right, y'all have a good one. See you on the next one.